Welcome back to the channel guys. I have a quick video for you guys. So have you ever had an issue where you had your camera recorded a video but it was handheld and very shaky? I got a solution for you. Here we go. All right guys, we have this video right here and what's going to happen now is we have the regular method of stabilization over here, right? So let's test out how well it's going to stabilize this video over here. So what we can do now is we can click on stabilize with perspective right and it will say stabilize and it's going to do its best to kind of stabilize the image the video rather and you will see that it's still kind of moving up down you know what i'm saying so what we're going to do is we're going to switch that and come to similarity i'm going to say stabilize again and let's play again and you see that it's still kind of moving it's actually moving a lot more now and let's go to the third one, which is translation. And let's play. And it's still moving kind of crazy. All right. So what we're going to do is if we come here, we see a thing that says camera locked. If we click on that and say stabilize, you're going to see kind of cropping a leave even more. And then what if I play, it kind of looks a little better, but it looks like it's warping a little bit. And you can see that crazy shake right here, kind of a jello effect. So what we're going to do is we're going to just reset, put it back to where it was before. And then let's put our playhead in the middle right here. And then what we're going to do is, but before I do that, what I want to do is I want to make a copy of this. So this is our before, right? And then we're gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to do the edits on this one over here. So go to Fusion. And then once we're here, you're going to have a media in, media one, media two, and media out. Okay, media in, media out. All right. So what's going to happen is you click on your media in, and then you hold on your shift key, and you press the space bar. And all you're going to do is just type in planner, tracker, and it's right here. You click on it, and you're going to click on add. Once you click on add, it's going to put it on the line over here. All right. Come to your right side over here. In your inspect if you're not seeing this you just click need to click on the inspect and you will see right there and then what you're going to do is you're going to click here on the reference time which is referring to the time or the time of, or place what is on the timeline right here this playhead all right so i set it in the middle for a reason and what i'll do is i'm going to click on set once it clicks on set, it's going to indicate that the number that is right here, where it's starting from. On, under your motion type, you're going to click down the down arrow, and you're going to say translation. Once you click on translation, what you're going to do now, you're going to trap backwards. But before we do that, make sure that it says that it, it, there's no pattern. So what we need to do, we need to create a pattern. What this is, is you have to make a shape around an object that is kind of always stationary in the video and I've chosen to do it right here so I'm going to just click once just like that and that is now done now we can click on track backwards and you want to see it kind of locked into the metal right here and now what we're going to do is we're going to click on go and what that's going to do is going to bring back to where we started once, it, once that happens, then we'll click on Tracks Forward. And that's pretty much it. So once that has happened now, is where it says Operation Mode, it's on Track. We need to change that from Track to Steady. And once Steady happens, you're going to see that the video kind of shifts. What it's doing now is compensating for the movement in the video. And what's going to happen now, we need to get a transform node. We can actually drag it from here and put it on the line, or we can hold on the shift again and press the space bar and just say track. And you will track her, and you will see one second transfer, sorry. Making sure, yep. And it's right here. You can see that these two are the same icons. And once I click on it, I'm going to click on add. Once you click on add, it's going to appear over here. And all we're going to do now, guys, is the first thing what we want to do is we want to increase the size. So what we're going to do is just click and drag over the video. It's going to zoom in a little bit. And all we do now is on our pivot, on the Y, all you're going to do is just drag it up. And what we're going to do, we're just going to kind of scrub through and see 
where if there's any area that the, the video kind of come out and like right here. So once you see that, you're gonna go to your X pivot and all you're gonna do is just kind of drag it over to the right. And then it was gonna continue doing that. Just like that. And you see it happen at the top. Do the same. Just kind of move that up a little bit. Just continue moving. Just like that. So let's do a play and see what happens. And I think it's just done, we have done a really pretty good job right here. So I'm gonna stop it right there, go back to our edit, and then let's just play the video from the beginning. And play. So you can see it's more of a swaying motion because I was actually moving my camera from left to right rather than it going up, down, side, side. You know what I'm saying? So it's still a much better uh, stabilization than what we had. So let's look at what we had before. And if you click on that, you can see it's more aggressive in terms of the movement. And over here, the movement is a lot softer, more smoother. You know what I'm saying, guys? So if this has actually helped you guys, smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, guys, subscribe for more videos like this. All right, guys, take care and peace.